Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In Pastor Daniel Oluwandi's powerful message, Build Your Life on Faith, we learn the foundation of a fulfilled life. Just as a seed is planted in fertile ground, we must construct our lives on the solid rock of faith. Faith empowers us to overcome obstacles and extend a helping hand to others in love. Embrace faith and watch as your life blossoms into a testament of God's grace and power. Father, we thank you. Sweet Holy Spirit, we give you all the praise for all you do in this place. Sweet Holy Spirit, koi koko itana with the Lord, koi koko itana with the Father. Thank you for always sending me as your envoy. I am not the most anointed, I'm not the most inspired i'm not the most educated i'm not the most i'm not most anything but the message of the lord keeps qualifying me sweet holy spirit you are the director of this service please glorify jesus in this meeting either the sick deliver the oppressed our hearts on fire and i vow not to take the glory i vow not to take the glory in the name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed praise the living jesus have you been blessed today even if i don't preach today have you been blessed so we are dealing with uh, uh, believers' conduct. We are in part 18, sec, First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Um, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of believers in word, in conversation, in purity, in faith, in charity, in spirit. And uh, today, uh, we have been doing this for 18 weeks now. Today, we are dealing with faith. We started faith last week, and today, we are going to continue faith. I don't know how long I'm going to finish the faith, because to study this faith issue, took me a while and then faith is the subject you are going to use from the beginning of your christian faith to the end he said looking at Dr. jesus the author and the finisher of our faith so faith is not something you do once in a while faith is your lifestyle and uh, let me say this if there are people that are standing you can bring them we still have like four spaces here so that they can sit so there are uh faith is there in the kingdom there are essential causes there are elective causes there are as an, there are courses that are major courses for example now there are courses that are one unit courses right there are courses that are four unit courses some courses are five unit courses for example on my campus those days library studies is one unit course uh uh gns um gns is doesn't even have units right you remember but you you cannot fail it it's an essential course, but it doesn't have to your GP. If you like, have 99A in GNS. But there are courses like CHM 201. CHM 201 is a four-unit course. If you fail it, you are in trouble. There are courses like that. I know because you are not in my field, I don't have to be telling you the name of the courses, but there are essential courses. And we have practical courses, like just one unit course. So now some people, one man rush on one unit course, they will read it all night and they will have a but five times one. Five times one. Five. But for example, if you do zoo 402. Now, zoo 402 is like a, a four unit course. So five times four. 20 but you have five in library course which is one unit five times one i see what i'm saying so in the kingdom faith is one thousand unit course it's not an elective it is an essential course. if you fail it no no christian no christianity Faith is one of them after salvation. Faith is one of the most important course in the scripture, in the Bible. If not the most important. That's why they say Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Pastor, please come. Anytime you come like that, don't sit down there, please. Thank you. That pastor on white, yes. Very essential course. 
So we cannot exhaust it. Even in three weeks, I'll just try to lay foundations upon foundation and see that how God can help us. I started last week by explaining the meaning of faith. The meaning of faith. And I trust that maybe today we can go deeper. Another meaning of faith is believing God. Someone say believing God. Believing God. It's as simple as that. See, the challenge of my generation is that we try to look for complex things to explain simple things. There is something called the simplicity of the gospel. The gospel must remain simple. Now, if you have to carry dictionary to church, you better go to business school. Because the Jesus taught in a language that farmers could understand. Parable of the sower. A sower went. Because in those days they were agriculturists. So he was speaking in the language they understand. So by the time you start preaching and people no longer understand, something is wrong. Praise God. Say the gospel is simple. Believing God. Now, I need those microphones because we are going to read many scriptures and I need us to be as fast as possible. I need somebody to help me with John 3, John 3, 18. Another person read Mark 16, 16. Another person, John, Romans 10, 10. Now, John 3, 18. Mark 16, 16. Romans 10, 10. John 3, 18. Mark 16, 16. Romans 10, 10. What are you reading? John 3 18. John 3 18. Let's read. He that believeth on him. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Is not condemned. For he that believeth not. He that believeth not is condemned. Is condemned. Already. Because right. because he has not believed in the name of the, the only begotten Son. I said faith is just believing in God. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned already. So faith is the key to a life without condemnation. Faith is the key to a lifestyle of no condemnation. It's as simple as that. The next one. Please, the persons with the mic are the ones to read so that so that we will not. The next mic should be with Roman 10:10. 10, 10. What are you reading? Mark 16, 16. Mark 16, 16. Let's hear. He who believes, he who believes and is baptized and is baptized will be saved. Will be saved. But he who does not believe, he who does not believe will be, condemned. will be condemned. Can you see? Faith is just believing in God. Next one. For with the heart man believeth. What are you reading? Romans 10, 10. Romans 10, 10. For with the heart man believeth. Unto with the heart man believeth of salvation. And with the mouth confession is with made. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Faith is what? I can't hear you. Believing in God. Number two, faith is a tangible thing. Faith is tangible. Faith is not abstract. Hebrew 11, 11. Hebrew 11, 11, James 2, 18. Hebrew 11, 11, James 2, 18. Hebrew 11, 11, James 2, 18. Faith is tangible. Faith is not abstract. It's not something out of the blues. It's not something you are trying to... Faith is real. It's tangible. Hold on. Hello, sir. I Look at me. I hold you. I am holding you in my hand. Imagine it. Am I holding you? No, imagine I'm holding you. Am I holding you? Huh? So, you can doubt whether I'm real or not. You can doubt whether I really hold you or not. But hold your hand. Am I holding you? Faith is tangible. So, when you say you have faith, it means it's as, it must be real. Oh, do you get what I'm saying? Even though you don't see it, you experience it. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know what I'm saying? Even though you don't see it, what is always saying? You have experienced it. Now, let me explain. I love my wife. Do you see love? Do you see love? Now, must there be a rope to tie us together? I thought you know I love her. Do I love her? In case you don't know, you should know. I love my wife. I mean, madly, deeply. What negative? I love her. And she loves me too. 
Hallelujah. I can't see love, but I know. So it is love that compels me to do what I'm doing. So it is faith that will now sponsor your action. Huh? Oh, somebody's not getting it. Because I love my wife, I care for her. What you see, you say Pastor lost his wife. How do you know? Because of the things you see me do. Is that correct? Because of the way I suppress my wife, you say Pastor lost his wife, right? Is that correct? What the things I'm doing are not the love. The things I do are the actions sponsored by love. The things I do are the actions that love sponsors. For God so loved the world that he gave his son. It, God didn't give his son to love the world. <laughs> God did not give his son to love the world. What did he do? He loved the world. Then he gave his son. I love my wife so I care for her. I love my children so I care for them. So love is tangible. Actions are evidence of the tangible love. So faith is a tangible thing. And it compels my actions. Who is reading for me? Where? Hebrew 11? Are you with the mic? The people who did the mic, what are you doing this morning? Eh? Let me hear from you. True faith. True faith. Sarah received. Sarah herself received strength to conceive. Sarah received strength to conceive. And was delivered of a child. Was delivered of a child. When she was past age. When she was past the age. Because she judged her, Because she judged him faithful. Because she judged him faithful. Who had promised? True faith. Sarah received strength to conceive. Sarah was already 90 years old. She had entered menu stop. Not menu pause now. She has entered menu stop. Nothing can happen again. Mama is too old to conceive. In fact, do you, have you seen a 90 year old woman before? Who wants to have sex with 90 year old woman? I said, they do you. The whole body is. Mama, me. The whole body. Ask mama, mama, you are trying to help to. Even 70 year old mama, you are still trying to help them to stand. Mama is 90. Face gone, body gone, everything gone, nothing attractive, and yet by faith, by faith, faith empowered her body. Kaya Bundu Squabia. How did the man wood of Abraham stand at 100? Ah, how did Sarah look attractive for sex at 90? Do you know what God did for them? God said, your name is Abraham. I change it to Abraham. Abraham is father of nation. God called him father before he became a father. God said, your name is Sarah. I change it to Sarah, princess. So every morning, Sarah will call him father. He will call her princess. Father. Princess, as she was calling father, the body was responding, I'm a father. You have to do the work of a father. As she's calling her princess, the body began to adjust. A princess is okay, okay, you have to look like it. So one day, when the thing clicked, they entered the room. Isaac came out. Faith sponsors action. Faith is never silent. You can't be expecting something and be quiet. No, you did not have faith. True faith. True faith. Sarah receives strength to conceive. How? She has passed the age. But faith doesn't look at age because it's from the ancient of this. You can't use your age to brag to the ancient of this. You are a baby. What's the next scripture? James 2 18. James 2 18, for me. No, let's. let's. Yea, a man may say, uh -huh. Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. I told you, faith sponsors actions. Hallelujah. Faith sponsors actions. If I have faith my actions are affected my actions show it that i have faith say i have faith say i have faith hello faith is very important faith is very important now let me see the importance of faith the importance of faith number one is a tool for salvation 
is a tool for salvation. The people holding the mark, maybe we'll just get like three persons who will be permanent so I can share the scriptures among them. So we'll be running around. Ephesians 2 8. Somebody, Ephesians 2 8. Number two person, John 3 16. John 3 16. Number three person, John 17 21. John, Ephesians 2 8. John 3 16. John 17 21. Faith is a tool for salvation. Who is starting for me? Ephesians 2 8. Ephesians, hello, please. I know you want to read the Bible for me. Just. Wait, so we can be orderly. It's faith. Hallelujah. For by grace. For by grace. Are ye saved? Are ye saved? Through faith. Through faith. Continue now. And that not of yourself. That not of yourself. It is the gift of God. It's a gift of God. Their faith for salvation is a gift. Their faith for salvation is a gift from God. So don't tell me I don't have faith. Every believer has the gift of faith for salvation. For by grace are ye saved through faith. But that faith is not your own. It's a gift of God. So for you to be saved, you receive the gift of faith. Anyone who hears a message and accepts the other call, you are saved not because of my message, but because of the gift of faith that is from God. It's a tool for salvation. John 3.16 To be orderly, pick three persons for me, give them the mind so that when I give the scripture, they are the ones reading. I don't like next, and I'm confused. Okay, okay, so I need one more person. So we have one person there, we have one person. How many mics do we have? Just two mics, okay. So you can rotate in third one. Let's hear from you, sir. Praise the Lord, John 3 16. Uh -huh. for God's don't read it from your head, read from the scripture. I know we know it. But let's read it. John 3 16. You are not sure yet. John 3 16. Read, read. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten that son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. Whosoever believeth in him will not perish. Uh -huh. But have everlasting life. Okay, John 17 21. John 17 21. That there may be one. Uh-huh. John Romans 5 1 Romans 5 1 Romans 5 1 Romans 5 1 Just give her the mic Therefore, since we are justified by faith We are justified by what? By faith uh -huh. We have peace with God We have peace with God through, through our Lord Jesus Through our Lord Jesus We are justified by faith And we have peace with God Faith is a tool for salvation who read Ephesians 2 8 again? Read it again. We are saved by grace through what? Faith. And that is not of us, but of God. So we are saved by grace through faith. Faith is the platform for salvation. How? You believe the Lord. You believe that He died for you on the cross. Of Calvary, you believe that He shed His blood for you, for the remission of your sin. You believe God. That belief is what sponsors your salvation. Number two importance of faith: we live by faith. What do I say? We live by faith. Romans 1 17, 2 Corinthians 5 7, Hebrew 10 38. Romans 1 17, 2 Corinthians 5 7. Hebrew 10 38. Romans 5 17. For in it, the righteousness, the righteousness of God. Romans 1 17, right? Yes, sir. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed through faith. Or faith is as it is written. He, he who through faith is righteous shall live. He who through faith is righteous shall live. He who through faith we became righteous by faith. And we live by that faith that came from righteousness. Faith is our oxygen. Faith is our oxygen. We live by faith. Without faith, you are what? Dead. I 
told you faith is believing in God. The day you stop believing in God, that day you start dying. Or that day you are dead. Because the reason for our living is our believing. Our believing is the key to our living. That's what they call it. Be living. Become living. Become living. Be living. Become living. How? Have faith. Behold him on the cross. Believe him. Then you become living. We live by faith. Next one. What are you reading? Second Corinthians 5 7. Yes. For we walk by faith. We walk by faith. Not by sight. Ah, not by sight. We walk. The Google map of our no, the Google map, right? Of our destiny is faith. We walk by faith. And not by sight. See, I live by faith. Hebrew 10 38. Hebrew 10 38. The just. Eh? The just shall live by faith. The righteous, the just shall live by faith. If you are righteous, if you are just, the way to live is by faith. I live by faith. That's why Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. But the life I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God who died for me and gave himself to me. I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live by faith. Means I live by believing God. I become living by believing. I become living. That's that, that word believing. Break it. I become living by believing. I become living by... It's as simple as that. When you see believe, just on break it. I become living by believing on him. I just be what do I believe? I believe that he died for me. I believe that he shed his blood for me. I believe that he died because of me. I believe that he shed his blood for me. Then I become living. I live by faith. Number three, importance of faith. A man cannot please God without faith. A man cannot please God without faith. Hebrew 11 6, Romans 14 23. Hebrew 11 6, Romans 14 23. A man cannot please God without faith. Read for me. Hebrew, Hebrew 11, 11 6. 6. Hebrew 11 6. And without faith. And without faith. It is impossible to It please. is what? Impossible. Oh, possible. Don't you It's impossible to what? To please, please God. For, who, for whosoever will draw near who to God. Whosoever will draw near to God must believe, must believe that, that he exists, exists and is a rewarder. Someone say God is a rewarder. Hello? Now, let me tell this to you. God rewards diligent seeking. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Meaning, if you seek him, casually, no reward. Any Christianity that doesn't cost you has no reward. Ha! God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. There is something called diligent seeking. There is a way you press after God diligently. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. If now it means without you offend God, because the way to please God is faith. What is faith? Believing. Believing. I believe God. I believe His word. God is angry when you doubt what He says. God is angry when you doubt what he says. I believe God. He can be trusted. He can be trusted. Without faith. Now, Pastor, how do I please God? Have faith. How do I please God? Have faith. Why? Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. Number three, importance of faith. Number what? Oh, four. Number four. Faith strengthens for the journey faith strengthens for the journey roman 11 20 romans 11 20 faith strengthens for the journey romans 11 20 
that is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief. They were broken, broken off because of their unbelief. But you stand fast only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. You stand fast, why? Through faith. Others who were broken off, what happened? Unbelief. The day they stopped believing, they were cut off. So it means you can miss your spiritual inheritance by doubt. Let me explain. I a father. Oh, how do I make this clear? It's like my children asking me, Daddy, will you pay my school fees? Daddy, will you pay my school fees? I'll say, I will pay. I will say, I will pay. And I have never, okay, school fees is too far. Daddy, will, will, will I be breakfast tomorrow morning? And I say, there'll be breakfast. They wake up, they see breakfast. Next morning, will they breakfast tomorrow morning? And I say, there'll be breakfast. And, and in the night is coming again. Daddy, will I be breakfast tomorrow morning? And I say, okay, since you doubt my role as your father, when is morning? I will now serve his brother's food and his sister's food. They will be eating and she will not eat. What am I not eating? You doubted that we never be breakfast. So what you do the next morning? Oh, brothers, that is going to surprise us tomorrow morning. Now, you have not smelled the aroma. There is going to be food tomorrow morning. No, I'm eating pizza tomorrow morning. I'm, now, you are rejoicing overnight with your sisters, anticipating the money for the food. That should be your posture as a believer. Doubt disconnects you. So, if my daughter keep asking, will there be food tomorrow morning when I've been supplying food consistently? What to do to her is to make sure there is food for those who don't doubt and she is not, she's eat, she's seeing but she's not eating. Those guys were broken off because of their unbelief. But you, you are connected by your faith. Many of you, you have, God promised you but you never see performance because you doubted God. Promised you, but you never see the performance because you said, Oh Lord, shame, I shame by God. Have I failed before? He promised me a great future. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. He told me I'll be great. I don't doubt it. I won't start doubting tomorrow because I know the, the delicacy, the delicateness. Yes of doubt it cuts you off those guys were broken off because of doubt many of you God have promised you he told you many things you have not seen because you doubted I don't know maybe God will do it because hey, since you can't trust me the day you are mature to trust we will keep it in store that day any time God says I will do it believe it now, because God is not in time and you are in time, you don't use your days to measure his time. All you do is appreciate him in anticipation for your expectation. Appreciate him in anticipation for your expectation. God can be trusted. God can be trusted. I say God can be trusted. I say God can be trusted. Faith is God's command. This is another point now. Faith is God's command. Faith is God's command. I started with the meaning of faith, the importance of faith now. Faith. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God.
Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you!